Please provide us with a brief overview of your business. Uh, Ruchira Papers is an agro-based company. We are based in Kalam in Himachal and uh, we, we manufacture a wide range of paper from craft, packaging, uh, tube grade paper, uh, then copier paper, writing printing paper. Um, so we have a wide range of paper. Our color paper is uh, uh, very well known in the industry. We have export inquiries for it. Uh, Would you kindly describe the writing printing paper market scenario? The market has been stable. We were expecting that uh, the market will pick up more. But uh, it has been good. There has been a good vibe for it. And and uh, so I think there is a good future. There have been a lot of new uh, capacities that have been added in the market. So that's why there is enough supply. What new paper product did you launch recently? We have launched uh, in craft range. We are getting more into uh, industrial range. So our uh, paper bags uh, for uh, that we uh, make paper in the craft range that has been wide, widely accepted in the market. It is doing very well. And what about the writing printing? Writing printing, we keep improving the effort. Uh, our paper is known for it. A lot of places we uh, because of our uh, raw material. It's more sustainable, it's more environment friendly than wood based paper. So a lot of uh, MNCs and a lot of big companies want to be attached to us. So the concentration in the writing printing for us is always to make our uh, quality better. These days, exporting paper has turned into a business nightmare. What do you think of the export situation? <laughs> more than export I feel import has become a nightmare for Indian paper industry because there's been a lot of dumping happening in the industry so uh, export of course uh, we have to compete with the mills from all over the world so it gets very very competitive is there any amount of imported fiber used in your plant or is it entirely agro based we need to use a small percentage of uh, imported uh, pulp but otherwise it is imported pulp with so many new recycling paper facilities opening up in europe it's possible that both virgin pulp and imported waste paper will be consumed in larger quantities given this possibility do you think that paper prices will increase in near future It has, you know, there was a time when it was very high, then it comes down. So it's a, again a cycle. So a lot of mills are closing down also in the European segment. India is a country lacking in long fiber. Can India produce long fiber collectively to make up for its lack of long fiber? I can tell you about our our raw material and our uh, production that's the most sustainable one and our uh, suppliers are very close by to our paper unit so uh, you know any new expansion you are planning we are it's in the pipeline we'll be announcing will you share any details any detail we'll be announcing it very soon it'll be somewhere in punjab again very close to our farmers where who are our raw materials but uh, we'll be making an announcement soon any scenario of paper pricing of writing printing today today's prices scenario today in coming time price increase or decrease price should increase now increase. it should increase what, now we've been we be for for some time for some time we've been talking about the ncrt uh, you know new syllabus coming up so new textbooks have to be printed so uh, the minute that comes into play prices should increase many paper manufacturers association are claiming the unwanted paper such as writing printing and coated paper which is impeding paper mills being imported in a greater way do you believe this issue is still present how do you view it of course the import is highly affecting the uh, the paper industry the market here right now 
The Paper Trading Association claims that because paper mills aren't producing enough paper to fulfill the demand, there is a gap in the market between supply and demand. And paper traders are attempting to close that gap. What are your thoughts on this? is easy for them to say but they will uh, uh, their supply from import has been quite regular you know earlier they used to be scared to take from the because they were not sure whether the import will be on time but now they found a way that it will be if it's on time or they, they have uh, commitments from the uh, imported mills they are preferring that so we do suffer on that yeah. due to over capacity it has been noted that the craft paper industry is experiencing slowdown. Do you believe that this overcapacity issue will be resolved by next year? Paper mills have been operating their plant well below the rated installed capacity as a result of the overcapacity. What are your thoughts on this? See, uh, there. Is, uh, if you're talking about corrugation, corrugation industry, then there is there is a huge amount of uh, oversupply. So there is going to be a little weeding off, which has happened. It's very sad. But uh, as the export picks up, I think we'll be able to. Uh, then, then the, then the, uh, you know, the, the factories which are closer to the port, then they start concentrating on that. This is Sri Lanka ki market thi. Wo kafi jada band ho gayi. Bangladesh mein mills khul gayi. So you know, all those markets became less. Paper exports are decreasing and paper that is meant for export is being dumped on the domestic market. How do you envision this situation developing over the next three to four months? The only way that I think the Indian mills can survive this is to get into industrial products. You know, to make your product better and get into more packaging, food packaging, because there is a shift from the plastic packaging to paper packaging. So that's the only way that I think forward. Any diversification in product in, in current product? Uh, product? <coughs> For us too. Yeah. yeah. We are also getting into more of uh, industrial packaging. Industrial packaging. Yeah. Okay. And food. Any any paper product which is being introduced for retail segment? Like I said, the paper bags. Okay, paper bags you have planned. Yeah. What is the TPT of writing, printing and craft paper of your plant? Your plant? Um, uh, writing, printing, it's about 200, 200 tons, tons per day. And uh, rest is about 200 tons as craft. So 400 tons of product. In single unit from Kala? Three units are there. Three units, okay. In Kala. Yeah. I mean three machines. Three machines we have. Yeah. Location in Kala. Yeah. In what way do you evaluate the quality of copy paper manufactured from wood and agrofibers? There is a slight difference of course, very slight difference but day by day the quality is improving in any agro based company. There has been an efficiency, they say the long fiber in the wood is long fiber right. So there is a slight difference but uh, we have replaced a lot of, uh, in a lot of places uh, wherever the wood based paper was used to agro based paper because they are finding the quality as good. Thank you, Thank you ma'am.